that's so retarded, you're such a retard, that teacher's assignment was retarded. I mean, over and over again, I hear it every day, and I, I quite frankly got sick of it. Katie Smith has personally felt the sting of that word. Daniel has autism and Tourette's syndrome. I remember when I was little, he'd be like, people kept calling me retards at school today, and that broke my heart then, and now. And now, with big brother Daniel at her side, Katie's making the case for ending the word. The word retarded is a slur based on the highest forms of prejudice and stereotyping, and everyone from kindergartners to those in high powers know it. Just to look at Daniel and look at other people who don't have a disability, who aren't doing anything, and Daniel's living on his own. He has his own job. He has dreams. He has aspirations. Daniel is 29. He works at Walmart, bringing in the buggies. He's a stickler for being on time, never missing work, and doing his job perfectly. You remember me from uh, uh, elementary school, right? Yeah. Daniel has the best memory out of anyone I know. If you met him when he was 12, he can still remember who you are, your phone number, who your parents are, where you live. Even with countless examples of his abilities, Katie still has to argue the word game. I play piano, so I know retarded and slowing down. It does have different meanings if you were talking about a plant's retarded growth. Yes, I can understand that, but when you're using a dehumanizing word on someone, it's changing the meaning. We don't want to say that for all these ki these kids with disabilities, we do not want to use those kind of words. Looks like they've got some supporters ready to take the pledge. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for having me. Thank you. Bye. 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 One group at a time, Katie Smith will spread the word to end the word. And your brother is very proud of you. Well, thank you, Daniel. And I'm always going to count on you. Angels in Our Midst, brought to you by Sacred Heart Children's Hospital.